Hello, I'm Brent Ferris from the Brit of Man Studios, and in this video I wanted to show you how you can get the web server working uh, with clients connecting and how to use the actual command tool inside of the web browser. So uh, what I'll do is go to Tools, Forge Networking Web Server, which will create our web server here. I have a client over here on my other monitor, which I'm just going to control over there. And so let's press play. I'm going to hit host, which is going to actually start the actual game server and the web server. So there we are. Now it's up and running. And we can see the time changing. And now I will press join with my client so that my client spawns in. And if I refresh the page, you'll see that the, pa the player count went up to one. And the reason the, ba uh, the bandwidth in and bandwidth out are not updating is because we don't actually have the checkbox for checking uh, the bandwidth on, and that's easy to turn on. So now I will just close out the client so it disconnects, and if I refresh, you'll notice the player count returns back to zero. So to turn on the bandwidth in and bandwidth out, it's pretty simple from our example scene. If you go to the canvas and turn on show bandwidth, and if you want to know how to do this in your own code, if you're not using this uh, start game menu, uh, you can go to the start game script and see what happens with this show bandwidth checkbox and uh, do the same thing through your code. So I'm going to build out another client and we'll see the bandwidth in and out changing. All right, so I have my client built out on uh, my second monitor again. I'm going to host the server here, and now you can see those calculations are showing. And if I refresh, we'll see that the counter is going up and the start time changed. So now I'm going to hit join over here with my second, uh, with my client. And if I refresh, you'll see that the player count is going up, and so is that the bandwidth and in and bandwidth out is counting up. Now instead of the command section, we can see our lovely command box here. And if we have no idea what to do, we can type in help. If we type in that, you'll see that it'll list out all of the commands that we currently have. We'll be adding to this, and I'll also have a video tutorial showing you how you can add to it your own custom commands. Again, the command window actually has access to everything in the server, every variable that's actually in the game right now and on the server running, you have access to. So you can do pretty much anything you want through this command prompt. So uh, let's go ahead and kick our player. So if we look up here, we have kick, which kicks a specified player. It has two parameters, the numerical ID of the client and the message to send to the client whenever they get kicked. Uh, here's an example, kick one teleporting everywhere. So I'm going to bring my client over here so we can see him disconnect. And I will type in kick, and I know this is player one because it just increments. And I'll say for no reason. When I do that, the player will be kicked from uh, the game and is no longer on the server. So we have actually kicked the player uh, and they have left. If we come over here and refresh, we'll see that that has been reflected. So uh, there's a few other commands in here. You can uh, ban players, show time, uh, you can destroy all things, and you can even spawn objects. So we have the maximum uh, zombies here on the scene. So I'm going to spawn a new zombie. I'm going to say spawn zombie and this actually will work with the networking manager and it'll find this object and spawn it on the network if it's a network object so there we go if i run it you saw that the zombie spawned and ran over to my character and if i wanted to i could destroy all zombies so here's all these zombies i'm going to just say destroy all forge zombie and this is the actual script name so the script that's attached to these guys on the ne the networking script that's attached to them is called forge zombie so if I say destroy all forge zombie, you'll notice that they'll all be destroyed uh, off the network. The very last tidbit to take note of is each time you run a command, it will show you the time you ran it, and it'll also uh, append it to the top. So it'll prepend it to this box. So if I typed in uh, time, you'll notice that the, the message actually is at the top, so you don't have to keep scrolling down. Uh, so that's it for this video. In the next few videos, we'll show you how to extend these commands to add your own. We'll show you how you can edit the HTML of these pages so they don't look uh, as uh, they do now. You can actually modify what they say or how they look, add your own HTML. Again, this is a web server, so technically anybody that goes to this web page uh, will see what, uh, whatever you see. So you can actually run a website if you wanted to, uh, though this is really just for this command console and controlling your server. And uh, we'll be adding in a feature for security where you have to type in a password and let you specify that, all of those kinds of things. Um, so 
Uh, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next videos.